What's up guys, DV Apps here. Today I'll be showing you the best render and codec settings for Camtasia Studio 8 and Camtasia Recorder 8. So Camtasia Studio is, is really popular among new YouTubers and I thought I would just make a video about the codec settings I use and also the render settings I use to, to make sure that I have the best quality videos. So let's get started. So firstly, we're just going to look at the codec settings for Camtasia Recorder. So to edit these settings, just go on Tools then options and then firstly what we're going to do is just change record to dot avi so what this will do is change it to a dot avi file format now the reason you want to change this is because there's a bug in camtasia studio where if you use the dot trek file format it will actually make your mouse just stay in that one location even though in the whole entire recording you've been clicking on other places that actually happened to me and I got in contact with the Camtasia Studio support and they actually recommended me to change it to .avi. So you just want to do that if you have like a lower end PC that's especially important if you do that. Now you just want to move over to the inputs tab. Now from here make sure that your frame rate is 30. If you want to record at a higher frame rate say 60 frames per second make sure that your PC can handle that and you have some pretty good specs. My laptop is pretty low end so I keep it at 30. Now we're just going to go on video settings. Now this is the codec that we want to change. So just click here and usually it will be on something like Intel codec or another TechSmith codec. It all depends on your PC. So the one we want to change it to is the TechSmith screen capture codec. Now I've tried all of the different codecs. I've looked at the file size and also the quality and what benefits it has and this one seems to be the best one in terms of file size as it's not that big and also the quality is really good. So just click on that and then just click on configure. Now just drag the slider and make it to better compression and then press ok. And then for the keyframe you want the keyframe to be every 30 frames. Now we're just going to click on ok and ok once again. Now you're all set for Camtasia Recorder. Now let's move on to the Camtasia Studio. Alright now once you're in Camtasia Studio and you've edited your video and you're ready to render, we're just going to go to produce and share and then produce and share once again. Now just click over here and then just go to custom production settings. And again I've tried all of the different ones and this one seems to be the best. So just click on custom production settings, then click on next and then choose AVI and then click on next again. For the colors, leave it to automatic. For the frame rate, also leave it to automatic. And then just click on video compression. Make sure that it says TechSmith screen capture codec and that the keyframe is every 60 seconds. Now again, I've tried all of the different codecs and all of the different keyframes. And then just go and configure and again, just change it to better compression. Then OK, OK. And for the audio, I like to just keep it at 44,100 kilohertz, 16 bit stereo and 172 kilobytes per second and just click on ok and then next now from here you can just choose the video size so for me i'm just going to leave it at my screen resolution then click next next again i'll just save it to the desktop and i'll just call it test and save and then click on finish now it's going to go ahead and render it and you'll have the best quality video output and then you can just go ahead and upload that to YouTube and it'll look great. That's all for this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. Let's see if we can hit 7 likes on this video. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Peace.